Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. Hey, maybe you're hitting the ground running early for a little Labor Day travel or maybe flying the friendly sky a little better for us here regionally speaking, but we can see some moisture to our west and to our north and east and eventually our storm chance going to go up a little bit more later on today as a cold front gets ushered into the Susquehanna Valley. But for now, we're quiet. We can see that sunshine, bright blue sky in Lebanon. We've seen some more clouds in some other locales across the valley here for the lunch hour, but overall, looks a little bit better than how it feels. Taking a peek outside your door, we have 88 degrees. That feels like temp at 90, and it's only going to climb thanks to dew points sitting right around 70. This is a tropical, oppressive air mass that we have here at home, all ahead of this cold front, that moisture streaming in, temperatures on the rise as that warmer air mass works into our neck of the woods. Uh, 94 in Carlisle is the heat index there, 95 in the capital city. And I'm thinking as temperatures warm up further, we're going to have these heat indices climbing back into the lower 100s later on this afternoon. So remember your heat safety precautions, drink plenty of water. That's why it's an impact day, why we have heat advisories through what 8 p.m. this evening for pretty much all of the region and even excessive heat warnings off to the east. We're expecting highs to warm up into the mid to upper 90s. Watching out for a few storms later on, closer to dinner as that cold front drops in, as we lose that cap in the atmosphere or that lid, so to speak. Some warmer air loft prevents the development, but that cold front will help initiate some of those. A few could be on the strong side overnight as lows dip towards 70. And then tomorrow we're much cooler, back closer to 80, closer to average for this time of the year. Still with some lingering energy upstairs in the atmosphere, still may see a few showers or thunderstorms, which is something we'll be uh, keeping tabs on. Here's predictor as we time things out. You can see that cold front closing in on us closer to dinner time. Not all of us will see rain, but a rogue stronger storm or two is possible. Same story for our Thursday. I think waking up to a dry morning commute, but notice clouds start to thicken up and we start to see a little bit of moisture for us closer to the evening and we'll keep that trend going into our uh, Thursday night. So a little more active as we head through the next couple days. Today we do have that threat of severe weather. It's a slight risk, meaning a few storms could include some gusty wind, but it's kind of conditional. We'll have to watch the storms upstream and watch as that cold front moves in to see how they interact. But right now I don't think it's a super impressive shot at severe weather. We have the instability, but we also have that cap or that lid. So we'll keep tabs as we head through the next uh, three to six hours or so across the valley. Now our News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast shows temperatures back into the 70s on Friday, even cooler with that easterly onshore flow. But we start to warm back up ahead of another cold front that brings more widespread showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. Sunday, drier. Labor Day looks great as cooler, drier air takes over. And that's certainly going to be the trend for next week there, Susan. May see a spotty storm on Wednesday.